Hello everyone and welcome back to a breaking Doctor Who news update. That's right, we finally have our first look at Shooty Gatwa and Millie Gibson in costume. Don't know why I'm clapping, but hey, I am. You're gonna have to deal with it. I'm very excited. I was kind of expecting a costume reveal sometime soon. In fact, I did a video just a little while back talking about how public filming was literally seeming to really be underway now. So yeah, this was only a matter of time. But yeah, I've had a look at the costume very briefly and I have some thoughts and mostly positive. But yeah, let's just dive right into it. We've also got a new look at Millie Gibson's look as Ruby Sunday as well. Sorry if this video is a bit of a mess. But yeah, so here you are. You can see here, here is the costume for Shooty Gatwa's 15th Doctor. And I really do like it quite a bit. One of the things I've noticed kind of straight away is the colour scheme. The colour scheme, they've gone for mostly orange in colour, which personally I'm 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 fine with. It, it has kept up an interesting trend I've noticed with RTD2 costume design in that like, they seem to be based around one central colour with other colours kind of permeating off of that. So Tennant costume is very kind of um, blue. That's the main colour for his costume. And then Shooty Gat was here is very much orange. You also have kind of the, um, the retro Tweedy Professor vibe with the trousers as well, the, the check trousers. It's, it's very kind of professorial, but also that orange and the necklace as well kind of indicates that you know, he's a bit eccentric and a bit wacky, which is what I wanted. I wanted something that was going to accentuate colour, which this does, this bright orange jumper looking thing. I will say I was slightly hoping for something a little bit more eccentric, perhaps. However, I do really quite like this. I like the boots. They kind of look like brown Doc Martens, which is a, you know, definitely a good choice. I believe, wasn't Capaldi in Doc Martens? Yeah, I really like this. There's quite a few things to sort of dissect about it. I think what I like about it is that it does feel like new. It feels like his own design. Obviously with Doctors, with, there's been so many, I think sometimes it, there's a worry that a design could be too close to a previous one. This does not have that problem. This feels like its own thing. This feels fresh. This feels new. I'm trying to make out what that necklace says, but I can't quite. It looks like a C, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's a G for Gallifrey. I don't know. I'm... I'm probably reading way too much into that, unless it's like a question mark, which that would be a really cool integration of the question mark, but I don't think it is. I do like it though, it definitely makes him stand out. It has that quality that you want of a doctor, of your eye would be drawn to them with that bright orange jumper, like you would look at him straight away. I am curious to see whether we'll get different colour variations of this, like I hope they don't do the like Whitaker method, for lack of a better term, or even, you know, some of the other doctors where they have one basic look, and that's kind of it. Like, the 80s Doctors are very similar. I like my Doctors to have a bit of a variety in what they wear, like what Capaldi did, where he had, you know, a lot of different variations and options when it came to his costumes. So I'm hoping that's the case here. Hopefully. Yeah. I do like it, though. I do like it. It's a strong, positive initial reaction. Kind of, it plays on that old man, ancient alien thing combined with a fresh, youthful, bright energy, which I think is really quite nice. But we can't, of course, forget Millie Gibson, who also has her outfit. And her outfit is about what I expected it to be. It's it's just sort of um, a kind of a denim jacket. It, it is, again, I think I'm getting, like, sort of Rose Bill vibes from the look. I think, again, those are Doc Martens. I'm not very good at fashion, by the way. I don't know whether anyone can tell by the fact that I seem to wear the same three shirts on a loop. But <laughs> I will say this. I think the costume for Shooty looks more unique next to Millie because it is so old. Because he is a younger looking guy and the costume for the most part looks like something someone older would wear. It kind of contrasts nicely with the young, like, you know, Millie Gibson Ruby Sunday character who is meant to be playing someone younger. So I actually think that his costume complements the companion that he's with quite well. I don't know whether that makes any sense. Um, but I'm, I'm sure it did in my head, so if it did in my head, hopefully it did in yours. Yeah, this is really good. I'm, I'm pleased with this costume. It's one of those things with costumes where your initial reaction will always be different. Like, with Whitaker, my reaction was, okay, that's something. It didn't quite click with me when I first saw it. Capaldi's, I was like, yeah, that's, that's just the Doctor. Yeah, that's, that's fine. And then with Smith's, I was kind of too young to really 
sort of how to formulate an opinion from sort of the initial images that were released. But yeah, this is a strong look. I like it. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below. Please like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for sticking with this channel all the year. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit.